looking at their face and spreading out the toes like a touching ball on the toes. We're just going to take a moment to and then slowly up and close your mouth. Again, inhale. Slow get counted. Is that what our minds and bodies need to start to just relax? Prepare our next inhale to just lift through the arms. Start to stretch the body. Exhale, release heart center. We still want to maintain that grounding through the base of the feet. Release heart center. At times like this, especially when teams have different schedule than what we used to. The breath or that focus on the breath make for two minutes for a small moment of the day. Gently start to stretch the side of your body, bring one arm in, tap through the fingers. Inhale. This time as we exhale, gently forward and start to stretch it through the backs of the legs. Continue breathing, deep breath on that back. Prepare to inhale and come back up into your mountain pose. Bring the other arm down. Touch your knee. Inhale. Again, as you exhale, release. Deep breath in. Back up. Be patient with the breath and continue to make your mind that comfortable. Making our way to our back to Starting to open our bodies. As we make this move, that back is lifted up off the mat, bend in the front of the knees. So we notice the strength of the knees. The end of the knees. Exhale, the knees. We come back together. Back around to the end of the knees. Again, lifting the arms. And then high lunge, other leg comes forward. Back to the side. Bend in the front knee. Find strength again if you want to enjoy your strength. Through the arms. Back shoulders. Again, the same thing for the body. This holds like tension. Different schedules. dog. Hands come down to the mat grounding. Feet are about hip distance apart. So we're looking for that nice V shape through the body. So again, I'm just going to turn sideways, especially if you're new. Thank you. 
Bring it down through the arms. Knees or toes, so whole body is strong. Just going to turn like this. We're going to slowly bring our bodies down to the mat. If you'd like to bring knees down first, you can. You'll find that elbows. sure the knee and hip are comfortable. 
So adjusting how far you bring that leg and foot through so that you feel the stretching through the hip, through the side of the leg. Yet remain comfortable on the mat. Continue breathing as you hold here. Inhale. And then maybe coming forward with the upper body. Breathing. Excellent, and then hands grounding. Lifting back up, toes roll under, find your downward facing dog. Prepare lifting the other leg, three-legged dog. Hands grounding energy again, up through the arms. He comes back into your center towards your belly. And then again, find your maiden's pose, bring the other leg through. Noticing how each side may feel different. Adjust as you bring that leg through, that stretch in through the hip, the side of that leg, back leg, nice and long. It's relaxed, top of the foot to the mat. So when we're doing our yoga practice, music is a nice option to have. Um, it can be a focus for you. It can also be a distraction for some people. So at times it's nice to have silence and to just really be able to tune into our bodies and listen to what our bodies are saying. Also, um, you might find that different types of music work um, differently for each person or you're able to connect the music differently. So at any time too, as we practice together here, even in this practice, you're welcome to turn some different music on in your space. If there's something that helps you to relax or release or create a focus within. Inhale, lift, bring yourself back up. Wonderful, toes roll under, Oops. downward facing dog. Inhale, really notice the breath. Exhale, forward bend. And then mountain pose, gentle back bend here. Heart center. Inhale. All right, everyone, join me back into our high lunge, right leg forward. We're just gonna hold here for a moment. Inhale, lift through the arms. Exhale, bring arms down, and then our side angle pose. So that back foot comes down, grounding. Parallel through that outer edge. Front foot tilts are pointing forward. And widen the stance here. Big bend in the front knee. Forearm comes to the top of that leg. Take a moment to, with that chest open, that shoulder roll back. You can leave the hand and arm beside the body, or as you're ready, start to reach up overhead. Slow, deep breath again, noticing the breath within. Listen for it. So this is our side angle pose. Bring our back beside the body. We can hold here or that opportunity to deepen. Wiggle that foot out just a little more. And then we can bring hand down inside the foot. If this is too deep for you, bring forearm back on top of the leg. It's always important to do what's best for your body. And then arm may reach up overhead here. Continue opening through the chest. Maintain nice long sides. Bring arm back beside your body. Lift, come back up on top of that leg. Perfect. And then we're going to rotate right into that low lunge. Back heel lifts. I'm going to come center again on my mat. Inhale. As we exhale again, bring that back leg down to the mat, top of the foot to the mat. So for those of you in sports, dance, tight hips can happen easily. We're gonna stretch the hip, inner thigh a little more. We're gonna bring hands inside the foot. Lift the base of that foot. Just slowly, slowly lift. This is our dragon's pose. You may be able to lift a little or a lot, depending on your hip and your knee. You might head forward, relax the back of the neck, the upper back. Prepare. 
inhale. Exhale, bring the foot back to the mat. Start to bring the foot back in alignment for our low lunge and then ready to roll under, lifting into low lunge. Nice work. Inhale. Exhale, find again your plank. Nice and strong here as hands come under the shoulders, whole body active. Appreciating each muscle, the connection, the breath. Feet hip distance apart. And then find your downward facing dog, lift hips back. Exhale, forward bend. Mountain pose. Beautiful, that sequence on the other side, heart center. If anyone's getting warm, as I am right now, just gonna take a second to take this off. Perfect. Deep breath again, lift. Arms come down, high lunge, other leg forward. And we're just holding for a moment here, stabilize legs, lift through the arms. As we exhale, release arms, side angle pose again, back foot comes down, grounding. I'll just turn sideways again. Parallel through the outer edge of the back foot. Front foot, toes pointing forward, and then that big, big bend. Form comes to the top of that leg. Beautiful as you breathe, allow the chest to open, that shoulder to roll back. And then maybe bringing arm up overhead. Strong, solid breath. Legs are your support here and enjoy the stability in through the legs. Bring arm back beside your body. And then that opportunity to deepen if you would like, widen the stance. That may be enough for you. You're allowed to just keep arm on top of that leg, listening to your body or bring front down inside the foot. Bring arm up overhead. Beautiful, breathing, reaching. Our extended side angle pose, bring our back beside the body and then lift forearm back on top of the leg. Inhale, listen to the breath. Exhale, low lunge, back shoulder rotates. Coming down to the mat. Inhale, and then exhale, back leg down to the mat, top of the foot to the mat. Let that back hip relax and release. And then gently start to walk that foot out towards the edge of the mat, hand comes inside the foot. Our dragon's pose, prepare to start to lift the foot, noticing if this side feels different than the other side. If you need to bring that foot back down. Slow, gentle breath, relax the back of the neck as the head comes forward. And then prepare to bring the foot back down to the mat, walk that foot back into place. Finding again your low lunge. Inhale. Exhale back into plank. Okay, we'll add a little more strength, a little more fun to this pose. So we're gonna come into what's called our extended plank. We can bring knees down to the mat. I'm just gonna turn sideways again. Knees or feet for support. We're gonna start with knees or I will. Rotation to the side. We wanna keep hips stacked. Reach up through the arm, hand that's on the ground. Energy up through that arm. Reach up through the fingers. Notice the strength within your body. It's okay if you're a little wobbly or shaky here, that naturally happens. Prepare, exhale, come back center. And then other direction, extended plank, lift and open. Reach up through the fingers, hand on the mat, grounding. Hips lift, core strong. Wonderful strength. Exhale, come back center. And then just take a moment here to bring knees outside the hips, find your child's pose, draw back, release. Holding in your child's pose. And then again, an opportunity, a moment here to have some water if you need. 
And as we're still practicing um, with silence in the background, you have an opportunity to also add your source of music if you would like here. Something again that may help you to relax, release. Two more breaths here in child's pose. And then prepare to lift. Bring hands in. We're gonna just bring feet up outside the hands. A nice opening here again in through the hips. Hands come in heart center, holding and breathing. Inhale, lift, come all the way up. Beautiful, feet come together, mountain pose. Inhale. Exhale, heart center. One more time, inhale. Coming into our triangle pose this time, right foot forward. That back foot again, parallel. Through the outer edge, just a slight bend in our front knee. Arms come up in line with our shoulders. Reach through the fingertips from the belly, lifting up through the chest. Inhale. Exhale, start to make our way into triangle pose. We release that back hip. We start to notice stabilization, strengthen through the core. Sides of the body nice and long as we fold into our triangle pose. That bottom hand can be top of the leg. It can slide down the leg. We want to find that place where we can still maintain length and through the sides and opening through the chest, reaching up through the fingers. And then again, notice the breath, listen for it, feel it within the body. Take that top arm, bring it around the lower back. Let that shoulder open more. We always need that opening in through our shoulders and chest. And then prepare, inhale, lift, come all the way back up. Parallel through the outer edges of both feet and deep breath, reach through the arms. Release arms down. Inhale, lift. Mountain pose, we come back together. And then starting again on the other side, triangle pose, deep breath. Other foot comes forward. Perfect. Lift up through the arms. Let's turn sideways again. From the belly, lift through the chest. Inhale. All right, start to find that strength in through the core. Stabilize as we exhale and come forward. And then start to fold into triangle pose. And then again, it's okay if each side feels different. Maybe on this side, the hands at the top of the leg. Knees can be center or upward, depending on what's best for your neck. Bring that top arm down around the lower back, let that shoulder roll back. Again, with so many different schedules right now and uncertain schedules or abnormal schedules can throw our bodies off. So really always finding that place for breath. Inhale, lift, and a release through the body as we practice mountain pose. Deep breath again, lift. And then powerful pose, nice and strong again. Inhale, exhale, forward bend. Deep breath, come halfway up, flat back, and then come back into our downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, walk me back into plank. So I'm gonna try this again, or extended plank, back down to the knees if you would like, or from the toes. It's our last time coming into this posture. Start to lift and open to the side. Reach up through the fingers. Notice energy from the arm all the way up through the fingers. Notice the strength within your body. The breath. As you exhale, come back center. And then opposite direction, extended plank, lift and open. Hips lift, legs strong.
One more breath. Come back center, thankful for all the strength within your body. Inhale, prepare for chaturanga, slowly lower down. Hover at the bottom. And cobra, forearms. Or your hands. Relax your shoulders. Again, notice the breath, feel it. Exhale, come forward. A little more strength here. Reach out through the fingers, out through the toes. So back side of the body, we're going to activate it. It's going to be nice and strong as we lift through the arms, lift through the legs. Just turn sideways again, in case you're unfamiliar with this one. Holding, breathing. Exhale, come back down. Take a moment to lift up onto hands and knees. We're just going to release that back by lifting and rounding through the back. Hold, maintain that rounding through the back. Relax the neck. And then neutral spine. Prepare again to come onto the belly. Reach out through the fingers, reach out through the toes. When you're ready, inhale, lift both arms, both legs. Just turn sideways again so everyone can see clearly. Okay, so let's add to this. Let's bend the knees, bring hands back towards the legs. So as we do this, deep stretch through the fronts of the legs. You can do one side at a time if that's what your legs need. You can keep the chest and the belly completely on the mat as we hold here and stretch the fronts of the legs. And make sure you're comfortable. Maybe you might want to start to lift the chest up off the mat. So eventually it turns into our bow pose. And release, come back down. Again, lift up onto your hands and knees. Lift and round through the back and hold. Relax the back of the neck. And then neutral spine. We will eventually come back into bow pose. We take a moment here to ground through the hands, roll the toes under, find your downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, forward bend. Mountain pose, lift, lengthen. Forward bend. Again, mountain pose. And then release arms down. Okay, it's always fun to try balance. Ground the right foot. You want to activate that leg. Use those muscles in the front of the back of the leg. In through the belly. Reach through the arms. Foot comes behind the body. Continue breathing. We're going to bring hand down to that foot. It's okay if the body sways, if you lose balance. Totally fine if that foot comes back down and you start over. And then take other arm and lift, reach for the ceiling. Relax shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, release, come down. Deep breath. Heart center. Deep breath again, lifting. Bringing arms back out. Prepare other foot grounding. Should be able to lift through the toes, activate the leg, the core. Foot again comes behind the body. And the hand comes down to the foot. Beautiful. Again, notice each side may feel a little different. Adjust as you need. Rebalance as you need. Take that arm, lift and reach for the ceiling. Relax your shoulders. And then prepare to exhale, release, come back down. All right, making our way back down to the mat, eventually finding our Shavasana. But one more time, we'll come into that boat pose. We'll get our forward bend, deep breath, halfway up, flat back, downward facing dog. 
Inhale. Exhale, come down onto the knees. Walk the knees back and then come onto your belly. Our last time here, reach through the fingers, the toes. Inhale, lift arms, lift legs. Bring hands back to the feet. Again, you may keep the chest on the front. Just turn side this. We may lift one leg at a time. An opportunity here to let the shoulders roll back and chest open as we lift. Or we can bring chest back down and lift one leg as we stretch the fronts of those legs. One side at a time. I'll play with this one just a little and see how your body feels in it, where you enjoy the stretch. Or maybe lifting it to our bow pose. Comfortable breath. Beautiful, release from your body back down. And then find your child's pose, lift, draw back. So we're going to prepare for our final relaxation. Lifting the upper body, walk the hands in. As we prepare for our relaxation, it's really important that you're comfortable. So a couple things you might want to consider before we lie on our mat. Um, if you need supports at all, under the backside of your body, a pillow, um, a blanket, a blanket on top of your body. Also, um, you may want to turn the lights off in the space that you're in. And then again, if there's some sort of relaxing music or music that helps you to um, just let yourself go, let your mind relax your body open. You may decide to turn that music on too. So you're welcome to do any of those things um, or anything else that makes you comfortable. And then go ahead and prepare and roll back onto your mat. I'm going to turn the lights down in here just a touch too. Silence at this point is also nice as it's a real opportunity to just listen for your breath, follow it and feel it within. So as we lie back on our mat, we can bring legs to any place that is comfortable for you. And then same thing with the arms and hands. They may be out on the floor, palms up, or on the belly. A nice option also for a period of time is to bring one hand up onto the chest and one hand onto the belly. Sometimes that helps to create that connection with the breath within the body. So closing your eyes. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out through the nose or the mouth. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Inhale. You want to try to find that comfortable rhythm within the breath, the inhale and the exhale. Allow it to flow through your body. Eyes are still closed as you're breathing here. Body comfortable on the mat. And take a moment as the breath flows through you to express thanks for all that your body did for you today. To notice how the breath feels as it circles through you, your mind and body. Slow inhale. And exhale. And then follow the breath in through each piece that makes up your body. At this moment, you just really be comfortable and let tension flow from you with the breath. And knowing that this also is a practice in itself, it takes time to become comfortable here.
Allow the breath to circle and flow through you, your mind and body a few more times. Creating a calmness, space within. Two more breaths here. And then continue allowing the breath to flow through you as you gently slowly start to come back. If you found that peaceful, comfortable place, you're welcome to stay here a little longer Make your way back as you are ready. Or if you're ready to come back, slowly start to bring your feet back to the mat. Allow your legs to release to one side like your resting upper body follows. As you breathe, let me come back up. You are again, you're welcome to stay and remain in your Shavasana if that's what's comfortable for you for as long as you would like. Continue breathing, possibly coming into a seated position where you're comfortable. And then we're going to do three big deep breaths, lift through the arms, like energy sealing as the hands come together, and then release heart center. Deep breath, lift. Heart center. One more time, enjoy. The inhale, the exhale. Holding heart center, inhale. Full exhale. Namaste. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful rest of your day.